Hello, I'm Bood, and welcome to episode three of Rebuilding Everton, part of my rebuilding series. This is the third and final episode with Everton. Um, I'm only doing three episodes per club. If I don't achieve anything at the end of those three episodes, then I don't achieve it. Um, if I can achieve it over two episodes, I will. Um, but this has gone to three, and I will say I love the fact that a lot of you get involved in the comments, giving me ideas. The next club I'm doing, which I'll reveal at the end of this episode, um, that's come from the comments because of how many likes and how many times it's been mentioned. Um, all I'll say is if anyone ever says to me, do leads or do a crew, I mean, I I'm not doing it. They've got to be a top flight team. I can't do leads because I'm a United fan anyway. Someone like crew would take me too many episodes. So it's top flight only really, but I am going to try and go around top flight leagues that aren't necessarily the big leagues. I'm going to try and challenge myself, challenge that. My tactic, uh, if you don't like my tactic, fair enough. Um, there might be better tactics out there in your opinion. But I love my tactic and that's, it's all about using it to see if I can better teams. And you're not always going to, you're not always going to, there's going to be some hits and there's going to be some misses. Do you know what I mean? I'm just enjoying playing football manager. Still waiting for FM20. And hopefully you're still enjoying the series enough to smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you very much. And you can also pledge to my Patreon if you want to help the channel a little bit more. You have a great chance of winning a copy of FM20 if you do. And also, if you want to win a copy of FM20, go back a few videos. You'll find my competition on a playlist somewhere. Anyway, let's get in to the very final chapter of the Everton story. Welcome to Everton's trophy room. And it's a trophy room to be pretty proud of. But what I'll be honest with you, what weirds me out is... The League Cup that I won is their only League Cup. I don't know why, but I just imagined Everton would have, have won that before. Because they've done so well. They've got proud history in the FA Cup and the and the league. Um, so, yeah, that's great. Uh, I'd like to add to it. And I feel like I've improved the team. I think top four last year, getting in the Champions League was amazing. A few semi-finals is good. But this year, I wanted to you know maybe go one better. But I do think this is the kind of save where I need a few more years. I'm not going to get them, unfortunately. But um, it's still fun. Two of my greatest ever saves have both accidentally been with Everton. Um, the very first FM I ever played was Championship Manager, an old Championship Manager from the mid-90s. Um, and I started off as United, got sacked, ended up at Leicester, got sacked, went to Everton and had a freaking amazing career. My two regens, Jankov and Cleberson, and we'll never forget. And we're talking over 20 years ago. They were always in there. And then <laughs> FM14... Every game, I usually start as United. I got sacked from United and I went to Everton. And then I had like a 35-year career with him and it was amazing. He was brilliant. I had one of the best regions I've ever had. I've still never had anyone as good as he was called Sado. He was English, but he was like half Nigerian. Uh, played for England. I've never had a region as good as him since or before. He was amazing and I'll never forget him. And, and I, ended up, I ended up just getting a bit bored one day and I, I went to Milan and I regretted it. And I'd saved it. I couldn't go back really and I ended up quitting that save. But I'll always, forget. I'll always remember it. So it's weird, isn't it? Two of the best saves I've ever had. I've been with Everton, so I love this game for them kind of memories. You can play this game for years and years, and you never forget them, dear. It's a special game. It's why I play it all year long. I never get bored. Right, transfers. I've made a few. Let's have a look. I've spent fifty-six million pounds, and I've brought in a thirty-two million. You can see a few of these guys yourself. Some of them you're probably not going to recognise because. You're just not going to recognise, but I think I've definitely improved the side. We'll have a look at some of them, and I'll show you the team report. First out of the door was Mason Holgate. He went to um, Burnley. You may be surprised by it. I quite like him. He's perfect for me tactic, but um, he's been like the fourth choice, and I'd happily kept him in fourth choice, but he wanted to leave. He wanted first team football, so I've not stood in his way. This guy's been a bit of a floater for me, really. Um, and again, Southampton have come in and got one of my cast-offs. He's a good player. He's just, again, he wanted first team football. And I I thought I could possibly improve him. The only other player I'm going to show you is my backup keeper. He's been my backup for two years, but yeah, he's 31. I thought it was time to go, and he, he wanted to go as well. So, I, I mean, most of these guys are squad fillers that was probably kind of happy. I would have kept, maybe. But they all want a bit of first team football, so fair play. I don't know if he's going to get it. I don't think he's going to get it, but. He decided to go to Moscow. So I needed a new backup and I didn't want to get a young keeper. Uh, you know, it's a one year fix. Um, and this guy came about who's been to some decent teams. 
he's been relegated a couple of times. But it is what it is. I think as a backup goalkeeper, I like him. I like him. I think he's got decent ability. With Holgate leaving, I needed a new centre half, and I found Costas Manolas, 29 year old Greek, who, you know, I've heard of. I, I think he's a really, really, really good player. Got him from Napoli. Um, tackling mark is good, positioning is good, his physicals are great. I love his star rating. Um, he's played for Roma as well, so got some experience and uh, I'm excited about him. Now this player I talked about in the last episode, but I'll be honest with you, most of my episodes with everything I ever do are like 45 minutes long and then I have to go put them into an editor and I run through it and I have to cut stuff out and I have to work out what's good enough to keep and so I wish I could put everything out because sometimes I have to cut out stuff I don't want to um, and in the last episode I was showing you my scouting list and some of the players I was going to go for and this was one of the main ones I was talking about because he can play at centre half, he can play in defensive mid whereas that's where I want him to play um, and I knew I'd be able to get him, no offence to Celtic but you know if you, you offer enough, a player like that's going to want to come to the Premier League and he did, uh, he's only 22, he's got a bit of room to grow and I think he's a better player than that guy I've sold. So obviously it's episode three. You know most of this squad. You've seen most of it in the last episode. And I've only brought in three players. I've just shown you them three players. But I just wanted to show you the depth. So I'm not going to go through it all stupidly and take forever. But you know, got a good goalkeeper. And I've still got a great goalkeeper. Great backup. Great defence now. And like my new centre-halves, I'm liking. Full-backs, I'm liking. Central midfield with his boss. With Neves. That's what scouts are saying. It. It's boss, mate. I like me, he's boss me's. I like me's. I'm from Liverpool and that's totally boss. That's my best, that's my best Scouse accent. Um, so yeah, brilliant. Andrew, look at this, Gomez, two star. Gomez is a freaking 10 star player. I'll tell you that. Uh, and then going forward, it's the same, innit? We've got Simeone and Benny, Benny, Benny. Up top, Cliver, King, Galano. It's the same. We've got top four. I tweak the squad. There's no reason why we can't do the same or better this season. I never get bored of doing the same things over and over again. And one of the things is always to try and get two um, financial affiliates. We've just got one. Uh, so we've got a link with the MLS, the Columbus crew. So, you know, it's financial benefit. And if I was playing for longer, I'd try and get another one in China or South Korea. Just to maximise finances. Check in on the board and you'll see they're pretty happy with me. Um, but they're also improving the EU facilities. And the data analysis facilities, data analysis facilities, training facilities are all right. I think so. Everything's great. Everything's great. Even the money's great. Premier League is easy, isn't it? I think once you, you know, you can go out there, and I, I, I think you can. You can take a gamble. You can stretch your finances. And once you've got a squad, if, if you can stick with that squad a bit and be happy with it, and maybe just tweak it like I'm doing now. If I was just playing now, I'd only be tweaking this squad, adding a, adding a player, adding a two players every summer. Now I won't be doing wholesale changes. And the amount of money you get in the Premier League, you just start paying them debts off and you just build up your money. And I, I think it's, it is a bit, it is a bit easy, I think. But still, 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 the bookies and no one else have got any faith in us. And Neymar's at Manchester United. Neymar, wow. So yeah, Man United have got better. Liverpool are still the favourites. And we're down there in seventh. That annoys me. Manchester United also have this geezer, Big Saf, who I signed. And Neymar, blimey, Charlie. And he was from PSG. Just a quick check-in on the staff. I've not been able to do too much with them, to be fair. Um, my physio's awesome. I'd love to have maxed out staff. I need another spot, and they're not going to give it to me yet. Um, but it is pretty great. And I do plan on doing an experiment very, very soon involving staff. Because I'm, I'm this big believer in it, and I'm, I'm preaching about it all the time. But am I speaking bollocks? We're going to find out, hopefully, soon. Now, a quick chat about my tactic. It is about my tactic. I love it, right? And it's about how I love how it plays. And that's always the case. A tactic can be great. But when you're watching the games, you've got to enjoy the football and everything. And I enjoy the football of this. Now, there are better tactics out there. Now, this one's based on my friends, the Turtle. And this actually won a freaking experiment I did. It was well better. But it bored the t shit out of me. It bored me. Great defence, didn't score many goals, lots of 1 0s. I might do better with this. I might win more games with this. I might win the league with this. I might win the Champions League with another tactic. But football manager about having fun and doing what you want to do. Don't ever listen to people. If you go in the if you ever join the football manager community, especially on Twitter, there's a lot of righteous wankers who will say you can't play this way. 
you can't do that. You can't touch the editor. You can't use that tactic. It's a cheating tactic. You can't do that. You've got to buy players from this country. And there's so many of them. Ignore them, right? It's only a game. And you play the game the way you want to play it. I mean, I don't touch the editor. I know people out there do. You do what you want to do. Just you have fun doing what you want to do. If you find a tactic that you have fun with, like that, you have fun with it. On to pre-season and we had a huge tour of America. If you want a huge tour, just make two tours. That's what I do. Uh, I love America. So we've gone on a bit of a trip all around the States. Uh, and then we finished off with a couple of big tests. Because we're going in the Champions League, I wanted to play two of Europe's biggest clubs ever. So we played Juventus and beat them. And then we drew with Barcelona. So I was quite happy with my pre-season and the preparation and the way we were looking. So I think we uh, jump forward to January. Got a long season ahead of us. Um, again, there's been games played, but we haven't played yet. We're going to be playing Wolves on the Sunday. Dirty Wolves. Um, right in the top of the league. Are they going to stay there? I, I doubt it. But uh, let's find out. Let's mix it up. And I'm going to start with the Premier League for a change. Instead of one of the Cups. And we're third. So, you know, I believed in this team. And we did great last year. Even if the Buckies um, don't believe in us. Ruben Neves, second best player in the league. I've got no one in the goal scoring charts. Uh, Greenwood really is a player at the minute, isn't he? I've seen him go to Barcelona on some of these um, saves. But yeah, Everton. We're third. Uh, lost three. We've drawn three. Let's have a quick look at them. Oh, no big teams we lost against. We drew. So if we've not lost and we've not drawn against Liverpool, have we played Liverpool yet? Yes, we have. Once. In the league. And what a freaking game. They've had the upper hand on us over and over again since I've been here. Uh, so to go to, to go to Anfield and put on a show. I mean, their new centre-half they bought last year scored an own goal, which helped us. But what a game. Back and forth. Tennis. I think they were like 2 0 up. We came back into it. Boom, boom, boom. It was amazing. They battered us though with chances. Um, I mean, my left back was shocking, but some standout performances. Philip Billing in the volcano is awesome. He never lets me down. So we are actually joint second, really. I think with Arsenal, aren't we United are flying. They're like 10 points clear or something. Nine points clear. Um, defensively, we're not doing too bad. Conceded 23. Look at United. Overpowered or what? I mean, they are just unstoppable. Top of the goal scoring charts, but we're third, which I'm pretty proud of. This is the squad arranged by average rating. Um, I'd like them to be playing a little bit better. Um, still got some great players. Neves is great. Benny's been playing fantastic this year. He has uh, really stepped up, to be fair. I mean, Simeone, G Simeone Giovanni Simeone, um, he's got a knock at the minute. He's played a lot of games. He just ain't scoring this year. Last year, he couldn't stop scoring. This year, he can't score. So I've been playing Benny a bit and he's putting the ball in the back of the net. Weird, isn't it? Well, let's start with the Carabao and we had a tough draw, but we came through it. Um, beating Chelsea. Philip Billing, man of the match. Uh, beating Chelsea 2-0. And then we started to ride our luck and firstly, went away to Swansea, drew 2-2 and Benny got both goals and then we won the lottery of a penalty shootout. But we, we, were, the, we were the better team. And then it was West Ham's turn. To be unlucky in a penalty shootout. We were we were lucky. Very even game. Lottery. Ruben Neves. Beast. And now we find ourselves in the semi-final again. For the third year running. We knocked Liverpool out in the first year. We got knocked out by Manchester United in the second year. This time around. It was Newcastle United. Could we get past them over two legs and go on to a final? Let's wait and see. Now I thought we'd have to qualify. But we didn't really. We, we got straight to the group stage. So I can't lie. I was happy, happy for that. Less games to play. Uh, I was super proud of this in Group A, best group ever, with Real Madrid, Napoli and Salzburg. I mean, Real Madrid, hey, they didn't get beat and we still won the group by a point. Fantastic, really. Um, we see who did beat us. It was, of course, Real Madrid away at the Bernabeu, but only 1-0. Um, we drew against Real Madrid, so we couldn't beat them, but we managed to do better against all the other teams. I mean, some close games, to be fair. 3-2 ones. But we won, and that's all that matters. And we topped the group, which is awesome. What isn't awesome is we've drawn FC Bain. I think I'd rather have come second in the group, and we might have got, I don't know, Copenhagen or someone like that. FC Bain. You're supposed to get easier teams when you win your group, aren't you? 
I mean, they're not top of the Bundesliga, but it's still Bayern Munich. Now, finances are dropping a bit, but I think we're starting to really step forward. We've been paying back a lot of them transfers. A few, a few of the big um, chunks of those transfers are starting to cash in. Um, so it is what it is. I'm not too bothered. Premier League money, you'll be fine. Um, I've got money to spend, but I don't think I need to. I, won't, I never, I very, very rarely ever spend in January. Just don't. Um, so hopefully we'll be okay. Now we did get a second affiliate and I've never had an Australian affiliate as a financial benefit. I've never seen that. It's either America, Korea, Japan, China. I've never done, I've never seen that. So I don't know if that's a, a, a new thing, but it's pretty cool. Maybe I've just never bothered looking at Australian teams or, but they're the only, I've got three Aussie teams. That's the only choices they gave me. But it is what it is. As long as we've got a financial benefit from it, I don't care. And we're also, after obviously improving all our facilities, they're improving the training facilities. So this club's done the up in it. We could have a, I could have a lot of fun with this team. And I did intend on, I need a personal save, you see. I'm not, I've been playing a lot, and I, as you well know, over the last few weeks. But um, I do fancy having someone on the side that I could just play for fun. And I was going to use United, but God, it's too easy that, wasn't it? After that third season, I wasn't going to play. I was like, it's too easy, it bores me. This doesn't bore me. I just remembered, I forgot to show you what the expectations were. So, since we're still in everything, you can have a look here. Uh, this one may have qualified for the Europa League, which I think we, we should do. Um, they want me to get to the group stage. Didn't we get, I don't, I, I'm sure, I didn't have any qualifiers, so I don't get that. But, um, got Bayern Munich, great. Got Watford in the FA Cup, um, and obviously Newcastle, so. We're still in everything. Got a great chance of winning Summit, surely. One thing I will say is, if you're looking for a Valante, I always look for a defensive midfielder, somebody who's half decent at passing. Um, but one great thing I hear about Valante is he's a neat, great vision. And I think that's why Ruben Neves is great, because his vision's 18. Because I don't know if you ever watch it, a lot of the time with them, they'll, they'll put some killer balls through. Um, it's just such a great role. I know I'll go on about it. And that's why I called the tactic the Volcano. Volante Volcano. I think this shows you. The difference when you haven't got booed and the volcano. He don't score many goals, does he? He scored 10 in his first year, 5 in his second year, 3 in his next year. When he played for me, he was freaking world class. He was a Ballon d'Or candidate. So, we're at the halfway point. Like We've seen everything now. I don't think we need to show you much more. I think we get down to the business end of the season and see how it all um, finished up. Well, let's start with the Carabao Cup. And, of course, we play Newcastle and we drew at home. Uh, Clive got our goal, they got an equaliser late on. So we have to go to the great St. James's and get a result. But could we? Yes, we could, but just it was a real battle. Um, Simeone got both our goals and Michael Keane got an own goal. Michael Keane, though. I don't know if you, rec if you saw before when I was showing the average ratings. He's had a great season. He's really become a really good player. I think he's settled in this tactic and he's doing really well. Um, but we did enough and we're in our second Carabao Cup final. But could have won my second. Carabao Cup. No, we couldn't win the Carabao Cup, unfortunately, and I was massively disappointed. Like I, like I said in the last episode, I played this last week. I'm playing the new team this week, but I still remember stuff like this, and it really does. It still pisses me off. I hate losing finals. Um, they scored early. We came back with Simeone in the 77th minute. Man of the match, Simeone. Brilliant and buzzing. And then we get the giveaway a penalty, which Aubameyang misses and then scores. So. But could we come back in the FA Cup? Winning one of these would be pretty awesome. I do like the FA Cup. And we started okay. We beat Watford. We did just enough. Beating them 2-1 with a 91st minute winner from the man himself, Gomez. Um, so yeah, on to the next one. Which was Preston. Um, and I can't... Uh, we won. But I was mega angry and I gave him a bollocking. Fabian Delft, man of the match. All that stuff. That's great. But we should have been doing... We should not have played like we... Two goals. No offence. I, I just... Ugh, it's one of them games that just pissed me off. But then we bounced back with a fantastic game. This is the kind of result I wanted to do against Preston. No offence, but Stoke like a championship team now, aren't they? Um, Gomez, at trick Love scoring in the 91st minute. Um, bossed it. Absolutely bossed it. 3-0. And we rocked on in the FA Cup. To the London Stadium where West Ham got revenge for us, knocking them out of the Carabao Cup. Ugh! Bastard. I really fancied our chances in this. We're out in the sixth round. No FA Cup either. But at least, at least, we're back in the Champions League and we up to spot in the Premier League. I'm edging. We're edging. Uh, 80 points. United was way too good. Way too good. Way, 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 way too good. But we have got the best player in the league. Ruben Neves loves the Volcano. If you don't like the Volcano, Ruben Neves does. 
Go and talk to him. Stop messaging me. Go and talk to Ruben. He'll tell you to piss off. He will. Um, but we're edging. We're edging. We're getting closer and closer and closer. I'm definitely playing this on my own. Definitely. I've got no money in the bank, but we're paying off all them, paying off all them transfers, man. Slowly but surely. Now my transfer debt is only 31 million, so I've nearly paid all them two years ago now, and I've nearly paid them all off. I'll probably have paid them off by the next season. What I don't realise, or what you may not realise, is how much net debt, how much net debt Everton are in. It is shocking. It's worse than Manchester United, I think. What's all this from? Because it's not from me. Pretty freaking sure. I mean, look, look, all them top ones are from 2014. We've got a 2018, and then this 298 million has not happened while I've been here. I think I've never looked at this, you see. That's insane. Now, this is my final squad arranged by the Drake in Neves, top dog. Uh, Benny, Benny, Benny. Top striker, Gomez, great. Fabian Delft's a great club captain. Can play at left back, can play in the volcano in the middle. Great player to have. I didn't rate him when he's at City, but on here now, I love him. Philip Billing, love him too. Michael Keane had a great year. Justin Cliver, it's getting better and better and better. I've been, I feel like I've been let down by a couple of our lads, to be fair, but I, I'm still I'm still happy. And the season went totally over, was it? We're still in the Champions League. Where we got beaten Munich 1 0. A Thiago goal. Um, their defence played really well. I feel like we were better. We missed the penalty as well, which is never great because that away goal would have helped us because we would have won, wouldn't we? We just scored that penalty. We'd have had the away goal. This was nil-nil. We'd have won. So the first year in the Champions League, we're back there next year. I think we were the better team. Possession, forget possession. I think we were the better team. So, again, I didn't win out. Did get to a final though. Learning curve in Europe. FA Cup was a letdown. Premier League wasn't. I was really, really happy with the Prem. What I'm happy with was the amount of chances we can create and goals we could score. Um, third highest goal scoring team in the league. When you think about who we've got compared to Liverpool with Salah and so on, and Man United with Neymar and all that crap, um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. You look at City again. That's two years now sitting not in the Champions League. Poor City. And you look at the money they've got. They've spent 200 million this summer. Well, there you go. That is the end of episode three. I hope you've enjoyed rebuilding Everton. I think I've done a decent job. I know I didn't win any big trophies. Um, still put one in the cabinet. That'll do me. And like I said, I'm going to have a bit of fun with this. If I get a spare minute, I've got four days off. I'm have... Why not? Wife's away in a freaking conference all on my own. Happy days. So thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you smash the like button. Go on, do it now. Go on. Really helps me out. Thanks. If you're brand new, feel free to subscribe. I really do appreciate it. And if you want to help the channel a little bit more, you can always post to my Patreon. You're being, you're being with a great chance of winning a copy of FM20 in November. Now, the next rebuild. I am halfway through season two. So again, this weekend, I'm hoping to finish that off uh, so I can film it for you next week. And it's a team that's been asked for a lot. And last time it got asked, it had like 14 likes, which to me is quite good for me on my channel. So that told me that a lot of people who read the comments wanted it too. So, we're going to sunny Portugal, and I'm going to be the manager of Boa Vista. Yeah, Boa Vista, who have got no money. No money at all. I can't get in the staff I want. I can't sign any players. It's not going to be easy. But you know what? I wanted to really challenge myself this time. Take myself right out of my comfort zone. But I'm going to try my goddamn hardest. And hopefully you're going to join me for that. And I really would appreciate it if you did. But I do appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day right now to watch this. You're a legend. I've been booed. I'll see you next time.